So you've taken really good care of yourself for your entire life and you're still doing all the right things. But have you noticed you've started to put on some weight lately or maybe your anxiety is a little higher than it used to be? Maybe sex is starting to become painful and you're thinking it might be hormonally related. Maybe you even know you're going through perimenopause. All you know is that there are a lot of changes going on in your body and you're not even sure what to be grateful for anymore. Hi, I'm Sherry and I'm a menopause health coach and I work with smart and independent women just like you. And through holistic methods, I can help you get comfortable in your skin again, regain your energy, your joy for life, and your confidence so that you can go out there and really embrace the world and be grateful for everything in it. You know, I've worked with countless women and as a health coach, I have found that incorporating a practice of gratitude really has an impact on our health and well-being. And today I just wanted to talk a little bit about the practice of gratitude. So the first thing is gratitude, I think a lot of us are trying to practice more of it, but it's more than just sort of ticking off a few things and moving on. Really for gratitude to have an effect on our health, we have to really feel the emotions that are linked for what we're grateful for. And one of the best ways to do this is to keep a gratitude journal. And I like to either write in my gratitude journal either first thing when I wake up or right before I go to bed. And there is something to be said for the physical act of writing pen to paper. And as you're writing, really get into that emotional state of what you're writing about and, and how it makes you feel that what you're grateful for is a part of your life. And that's where the benefit of the gratitude journal comes in. Another way is to simply take a gratitude walk. I did this earlier today in Central Park. And it's as simple as just noticing the small things in life, you know, the, the smell of freshly cut grass, um, maybe like some kids off in the distance playing, or the fact that there's a couple of little flowers popping up in an area that you would least expect it. And another gratitude that I like to perform to is thanking people. And again, going back to the, you know, when we were raised as children, you know, of course, we were taught to say please and thank you. And I think as adults, it comes out so automatically that there's really no emotion attached to it. But I think if you genuinely, from your heart and with feeling, thank someone, not only are you going to be enriching your own life, you're gonna be enriching their life too. And if you have a pet, I don't think I even need to talk a lot about this. They are just a furry bundle of unconditional love and they are everything that we need to be grateful for. All just wrapped up in like a little barking, joyful bundle. <laughs> the other thing too is judgment. This isn't, this is kind of like, this is the opposite of gratitude is the practice of judgment. And this is judgment that we place on ourselves, judgment we place on others, judgment about circumstances. And I think if we, instead of judging, if we start to look for the, the nuggets of wisdom or what positive can come from a situation or another person or from ourselves, I think then we start to build those new neural pathways and our level of optimism and overall health are just going to improve. One of my favorite tricks to practice gratitude, it's a simple word swap. 
swapping out the word have to with the word get to. Um, for example, dishes. Instead of saying, I have to do the dishes, if you say, I get to do the dishes, what it implies is that you are genuinely grateful that you have dirty dishes, which means you had food to eat, which means you most likely are in a home. You have running water. There's all these like little things that all of a sudden this tedious daily chore becomes more of a celebration than a dread. So those are my few little tips for practicing gratitude. And if you would like to incorporate more gratitude on your health journey, I really invite you to book a free menopause makeover discovery call with me. I will go ahead and attach the link for that and I hope to see you soon. I am grateful for you. Peace and love.